The aviation industry has long been dominated by Western manufacturers, particularly the duopoly of Boeing and Airbus. These two giants have, for decades, supplied the world with the bulk of its commercial aircraft, creating a competitive yet relatively stable market. However, a seismic shift may be on the horizon, threatening to disrupt the established order. The China-based Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, Limited, COMAC, recently unveiled plans for its latest venture, the COMAC C929. A wide-body aircraft designed to compete directly with the largest and most advanced planes from Boeing and Airbus. This announcement sent ripples through the aviation industry, as the C929 represents not just a new aircraft, but a bold challenge to the dominance of Western aerospace companies. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. To understand the significance of the C929, it is essential to grasp the broader context of COMAC's rise in the global aviation market. COMAC, a state-owned enterprise, was established in 2008 with the explicit goal of reducing China's dependence on foreign aircraft manufacturers. Its mission was ambitious, to build aircraft that could compete with the likes of Boeing and Airbus while simultaneously fostering the development of China's domestic aerospace industry. COMAC's first major project, the ARJ-21, was a regional jet designed to seat between 78 and 90 passengers. Although its development was plagued by delays and technical issues, the ARJ-21 finally entered service in 2016. While not revolutionary in terms of technology, it marked an important step for China's aviation ambitions. The ARJ-21's main purpose was to serve as a learning platform, helping COMAC build the necessary expertise and infrastructure to tackle more ambitious projects. The company's next project, the C-919, was designed to compete directly with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 families, two of the best-selling aircraft models in history. The C-919, a narrow-body jet, has a seating capacity of 158 to 168 passengers and a range of approximately 5,500 kilometers. While the C-919 faced its own set of development challenges, including certification delays and the sourcing of critical components from Western suppliers, its eventual rollout and subsequent orders demonstrated COMAC's growing capabilities and its potential to challenge the established players. The introduction of the COMAC C-929 marks a significant escalation in COMAC's ambitions. The C-929 is a wide-body aircraft, which places it in direct competition with some of the most advanced and profitable aircraft in the world, such as the Boeing 777 and 787, as well as the Airbus A350 and A330neo. These aircraft are the backbone of long-haul international travel, and their market is both lucrative and fiercely contested. The C-929 is expected to seat around 280 to 320 passengers, with a range of approximately 12,000 kilometers, making it suitable for transcontinental flights. This range and capacity place the C-929 squarely in the market currently dominated by the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the Airbus A350, both of which are renowned for their fuel efficiency, advanced aerodynamics, and passenger comfort. COMAC's decision to enter this segment of the market signals its intent to compete not just on a regional or narrow-body level, but on the global stage with wide-body aircraft. The announcement of the C-929 shocked the aviation industry for several reasons. Firstly, it demonstrates COMAC's rapid technological advancement. Developing a wide-body aircraft is far more complex and resource-intensive than producing a narrow-body jet. The C929's introduction suggests that COMAC has made significant strides in areas such as materials science, aerodynamics, and systems integration. Moreover, it implies that China's aerospace supply chain has matured to the point where it can support the development of such a sophisticated aircraft. Secondly, the C929 represents a potential threat to the market share of Boeing and Airbus. While these two companies have long been the dominant players in the wide-body market, they have also faced challenges in recent years. Boeing in particular has struggled with the fallout from the 737 MAX crisis, which severely damaged its reputation and finances. Airbus, while in a stronger position, has also faced challenges, including production delays with the A350 and A320neo families. The entry of a new competitor, 
particularly one backed by the resources and strategic intent of the Chinese government, could further disrupt the market and force Boeing and Airbus to reevaluate their strategies. The introduction of the C929 presents Boeing and Airbus with a dilemma. On one hand, both companies are likely to view COMAX entry into the wide-body market with concern. The C929 is poised to capture a significant share of the Chinese market, which is expected to become the largest aviation market in the world within the next decade. China's rapidly growing middle class and the government's emphasis on developing domestic infrastructure make it a key battleground for aircraft manufacturers. If COMAC can secure a dominant position in its home market, it could reduce the sales opportunities for Boeing and Airbus in China, forcing them to look elsewhere for growth. Furthermore, the C929 could also appeal to other emerging markets, particularly in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Many of these regions are experiencing rapid economic growth and increasing demand for air travel. They may be more willing to consider non-Western aircraft manufacturers, especially if the C929 can offer competitive pricing and performance. For Boeing and Airbus, this could mean increased competition not only in China, but also in other key growth markets. On the other hand, the entry of COMAC into the wide-body market could also prompt Boeing and Airbus to accelerate their own innovation efforts. The aerospace industry is characterized by long product cycles, with new aircraft models often taking a decade or more to develop. The arrival of the C9 the 29th of May encouraged both Boeing and Airbus to invest more aggressively in new technologies, such as advanced materials, more efficient engines, and improved aerodynamics to maintain their competitive edge. This could lead to the introduction of even more advanced aircraft in the coming years, benefiting consumers and the industry as a whole. Despite the excitement surrounding the C929, COMAC faces several significant challenges as it seeks to bring the aircraft to market. One of the most pressing issues is the certification process. Gaining certification from major aviation authorities such as the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, in the United States and the European Union Aviation Safety Agency EASA, is critical for the C929's success. Without these certifications, the C929 would be limited in its ability to operate on international routes, severely restricting its market potential. However, achieving certification from Western regulators may prove difficult for COMAC. The certification process is rigorous and requires extensive testing and documentation to ensure the aircraft meets safety and performance standards. Additionally, geopolitical tensions between China and the West could complicate the process. In recent years, there has been growing concern in the West about China's ambitions in high-tech industries, and aviation is no exception. Western regulators may subject the C929 to heightened scrutiny, which could delay its certification and entry into key markets. Another challenge for COMAC is the perception of Chinese-made aircraft. While COMAC has made significant strides in developing its capabilities, the company still faces skepticism from airlines and passengers outside of China. Boeing and Airbus have spent decades building their reputations for safety, reliability, and customer service. COMAC, by contrast, is a relative newcomer, and its aircraft have yet to prove themselves in the eyes of many global airlines. Overcoming this perception will require not only delivering a high-quality product, but also building trust with airlines, regulators, and passengers around the world. Furthermore, COMAC's reliance on foreign suppliers for key components remains a potential vulnerability. Although China has made efforts to develop a domestic aerospace supply chain, many critical technologies, such as engines and avionics, are still sourced from Western companies. This dependence on foreign suppliers exposes COMAC to potential disruptions, particularly in the context of geopolitical tensions and trade disputes. If Western countries were to impose restrictions on the export of aerospace technologies to China, it could significantly impact the development and production of the C929. The announcement of the C929 is not just a significant development for COMAC, but also for the global aviation industry as a whole. The entry of a new competitor in the wide-body market could have far-reaching implications for the structure of the industry, the dynamics of competition, and the future of aviation technology. One potential impact is increased competition and price pressure in the wide-body market. The aviation industry is highly competitive, with airlines constantly seeking to reduce costs and improve efficiency.
The introduction of the C929 could lead to increased competition among manufacturers, driving down prices and forcing Boeing and Airbus to offer more aggressive pricing and incentives to secure orders. This could be beneficial for airlines, particularly in emerging markets, as it would provide them with more options and potentially lower costs when purchasing new aircraft. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. Will the Comac C929 challenge Boeing and Airbus? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.